Hey guys, how's it going? Classic Chris here, and we are talking movies. That's right, we're talking some of my favorite comedy movies from the 80s. In my opinion, the 80s and the 90s had some of the best movies ever. And I'm going to go into that as I explain some of the comedies that I like in the 80s. But, here's the thing though. There's so many good comedies. Like, I could go on for, for hours talking about movies from the 80s. But right now, I'm just going to keep it short and sweet. Because I'm going to talk about some movies I'm not sure a lot of people know about. So, um... These are the movies, like, I'm not, like, uh, these are the movies I'm going to talk about. Like, right now, this was a funny movie growing up. Loved it. Monster Squad. That's right. People are like, Monster Squad? What the hell is that? Well, Monster Squad is, a, it's basically about some kids, and monsters come, come to their town, and basically cause shit. It is friggin' hilarious, um... Yes, a young group of monster fanatics attempt to save their hometown from from Count Dracula and his army of monsters. Friggin' hilarious! Like one of the scenes, um, you see the Wolf Man. He's he's trying to get the kids or something like that, and the one kid's like, "Kick him in the nards!" Like the Wolf Man's got nards, and he just basically kicks him in the balls. It that to me was friggin' hilarious. Like um, it's a funny movie. Monster Squad, check it out. Like I, I, I'm going to keep this video like um, moving along quickly. So some movies they're not going to get as much play as some of the other ones, but Monster Squad is hilarious. Um, it, <laughs> he kicks the Wolf Man in the balls. It is funny. Like, um, they call this, they call the chubbier kid fat kid, like. We're here to find out what makes fat kids so far so fat. Uh, and he's like, then basically at the end he's the one that kicks the wolf man in the balls, and um, he says to the the kids that were calling him fat, he's like, my name is Horace. It's just so funny. Oh, but Monster Squad, check that out. Um, another movie I really like from the '80s. This one might get a little bit more talk. Uh, is Porky's. Porky's is fucking hilarious, okay? Um, follows a group of high school guys. You know, they're they're just living the life. You know, you know how it is like in high school. You're young without a care in the world. Um, they are the basketball team for Angel Beach, I think it is. Yeah, it's in Florida. So they're um, it's set in nineteen in the nineteen fifties, like nineteen fifty four to be exact. Um, a group of Florida high schoolers. Seek out to help their buddy lose his virginity, which leads to them seeking revenge on the sleazy nightclub owner and his redneck sheriff brother for harassing them. That's basically Porky's. Um, it's so funny. The, the guy who's trying to lose his virginity is Pee Wee. Pee Wee, he wakes up, like, <laughs> he's so determined to lose his virginity, he wakes up every morning and measures his penis. Me, I'm quite happy with my size. I never have to do that, but I guess in 1954, some guys had to do it. <laughs> and um, so basically, um, there's so many funny moments. Like one of my favorite moments in the movie is when um, they sneak down to the girl's shower. They call it a beaver run, where they watch the girl's shower. They somehow they get in between the walls or something. And they watch them through the drains, it, it, or like the like a drain on the wall or something like that. But it's friggin' hilarious. So while they're watching the girls take a shower, Pee Wee, for some reason, he always gets the sh like the you know the shit luck out of everything. So um, he's there, and the first in the his people basically gets blocked by a larger set girl, and of course they have a nickname for her. I can't remember at the moment. Watch the movie and find out. Um, and so he's trying to get to everyone else's people, and they're like, go back to your hole, Pee-wee. Fuck off, man. Just fuck off. And so Pee-wee finally has enough, because all he can see is like this big, plump ass, nothing wrong with some, some back. But so he literally yells, move your fat ass! And the girls hear him. <laughs> Pee-wee fucked up huge, because that's like an old high school uh, secret, like girls weren't supposed to know. So, um... A lot of girls scream. They run out, except for a couple. One guy whips out his penis, puts it on the drain. He's like, "Hey, I'm pulling the." Oh no! First, he did his tongue. First, he did his tongue, and he's like, and he does the, like he wants to eat her out. Of course, I didn't have to do the tongue motion, but come on. Um, 
So one girl goes up and she puts soap on his tongue. Gets gross. He's like, ah. He's like, fine, you want to put soap on my tongue? Fucking drops the trout. Whips it out. Puts it right through the hole. The girl's about to do the soap again. Gets freaked out over the cock. And then all of a sudden, um, the female gym teacher comes in. Beulah Ballbreaker. And um, she comes in. Sees the dude's penis. Literally runs up and grabs and starts tugging on this dude's dick. Now, I don't know why she's pulling on it. It is friggin' hilarious. This guy's got to be in excruciating pain because um, skin can only stretch so far. So she's just tugging away and he's trying to like, oh, hilarious. Check out Porky's. I'm telling you right now, check out Porky's. You will not be disappointed. If you watch Porky's and did not like it, I'm going to be shocked. I am going to be shocked. So if, you watch Por- if you've watched Porky's or have never heard of Porky's and watch it, Leave a comment. Tell me what you thought of it. Okay? So now I'm going to move on. Another good movie I like from the 80s. Um, it is Revenge of the Nerds. Revenge of the Nerds. Now you're going to see a little theme here. Re- Porky's High School. Revenge of the Nerds. College. Okay, so for Revenge of the Nerds, that is one of my favorite movies from the 80s. Um, okay, so basically, the big, the big guys on campus, the Alpha Betas, burnt down their house. Um, they took the freshman dorms away from where Lewis and Gilbert, the nerds, were staying. Um, that's what they're called because it's Revenge of the Nerds, where they were staying, them and their group of guys. And so um, <clears throat> they um, are forced to live in the gym after the Alpha Betas burned down their house at a party. Um, so they take over the dorms. The nerds have to find new housing. They find a house. They're fucking painting the walls, getting fu- getting baked. Uh, one guy gets so stoned, he literally falls over painting. That part was hilarious. Him and Takashi and Booger together was is hilarious in that movie. Every time they're together, like if they're playing cards, and um, Booger's like kind of not racist, not not racist, but he jokes a lot and he's fucking hilarious because um, um, Takashi they're playing cards and Takashi's like, I got a frush. Like you know, just because that's I'm just pronouncing it the way they did in the movie. And Booger go, Booger goes, what the fuck's a frush? So, no, 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 you need four new cards. And the guy had a flush. They were playing poker. And so he, he was killing... Takashi would have killed him, but Booger was just, you know... <laughs> it's like, Mike, blah, 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 beats your frush, whatever the fuck that is. So that happens. Um, basically, the Alpha Betas pull a prank on them and everything like that. And um, the nerds are forced to... Um, Become a frat, like become a fraternity of their own. So they send out applications to every fraternity in the U.S. and with group photos and everything, nobody wants them. There's only one one fraternity that will take them. This to me is one of the funnier parts of the movie. It's Lambda Lambda Lambda, the Tri Lambs, and um, they're willing to take them on a plumin on a on a preliminary basis. Like, you know, they can be, like, honorary, like, uh, like they're so they're trilams in training. And so they throw a huge, they throw a party. The party is going like shit. Oh, yeah, and speaking of Lambda Lambda Lambda, I forgot. Uh, that was the only one they didn't send a picture to. And it's also a national black fraternity. So the fact that they accepted them and everything like that, it's it's just, it, it, it is good. Like, I like it. I like it the way it is. They're having, um, they're having a party, you know, just to show the trilams that, you know, Hey, just because we had the highest GPA uh, in the college, um, we could still let let loose and have fun. So um, they get the their um, soon to be sister fraternity, the Omega moves over, and they have a party. And um, the party's going stale. It is so boring and and haggard. And one person's like, maybe we should watch TV. Another person's like, maybe we should eat. And Booger looks around. And he's like, I got it. Opens up his coat. Wonder joints. He's got these huge fucking rockets. These guys lay it up, and the party really starts rocking. Like it is just so funny. And then you see one of the the heads of the lambda lambda lambda. He gets past one of the dubs, and uh, he's taking a hit. And he's like, "This is some good shit." And the one guy looks at him, and like, "What are you doing?" And he's like, "Whoop!" <laughs> Check it out, Revenge of the Nerds. I'm not going to tell you all the rest because there's so many good things. Um, over the last two movies, a lot of good humor. And some good nudity, too, for all you dudes that like nudity in the movies. Why not? Uh, check it out. You're going to enjoy that one. So that's Revenge of the Nerds, Porky's, Monster Squad. Uh, now I'm going to get into another movie. This movie, um, it's a little obscure, too, but um, 
it's um well not obscure but to me it's almost tom hanks at his finest like no i'm not talking about big i love that movie i love big to me big is just freaking hilarious but to me um this one is good it's the burbs cory feldman's in it um basically they suspect their neighbors of being murderers it is just so funny um the they go over to the the family's house this army dude uh his smoking hot wife checks out this picture and she's like oh this is a lovely picture is this your mother or your girlfriend and the one guy says it came with the frame so basically they left the oh check it out the burbs there's so much stuff in the burbs i don't want to ruin it check it out the burbs loved it Feldman, hanks some other guys it was funny it was funny um now this next one that i'm going to talk about probably the last one on the list just for now this one was more of a popular one so i'm sure a lot of you have heard of it or seen it major league major league charlie fucking sheen winning at his at winning at the best what can i say i'm a big charlie sheen fan uh, a lot of movies that he's done i loved them like hot shots hot shots part duh like uh <laughs> it's so good um yes major league okay major league is a movie about let's see what is it's about the um the oh shite what okay the owner of the cleveland indians wants to the team to do so poorly that she can relocate the team and when the team basically finds out that she want she picked them because she didn't expect them to do anything just so she could sell the team relocate it and find new players they start winning ball games charlie sheen plays rick vaughn um she's one uh he's one of the players that the owner she called up from because she wanted just bad ball players well he was playing in the prison league he was a pitcher and they're like the one the one team's like the one guy is like oh who'd you play for he's like blah blah, blah. he's like i never heard of him how'd you get there he's like stole a car charlie sheen's friggin' hilarious in it um so many good one-liners in it um roger dorn he's he's um he's the third baseman he he, like, well, let's say there's a line drive. He'll just try to throw the glove, like, and uh, the guy goes up to him and is like, what's this Olay shit, Dorn? It's like, I want you to take it, like, uh, like, get down in front of it like you're supposed to do in baseball. Like, it's just so funny. Their manager, um, he was working at an auto de- detailer. Um, the catcher that they pick up, his knees are shot. He's playing in Mexico. Uh, hasn't been in the major leagues for, like, a good couple of years. And, um... He gets his phone call right away and he's like, this is the GM of the Cleveland Indians. We'd like to invite you to spring training. He's like, I'm fucking hungover. My knees are killing me. At least if we're going to pull this shit, say you're from the Yankees. Like, thinking it was a joke. Good movie. Check out Major League. Okay, so now I'm going to run down the list, guys. These are some of the movies that I talked... These are the movies that I talked about. I talked about Monster Squad, Porky's, Revenge of the Nerds, The Burbs, and Major League. Check out all those movies. Like, and if you haven't heard of them... Check them out. I'm telling you, Porky's, Revenge of the Nerds. Like, uh, Porky's has a couple of movies. Like, there's, like, Porky's 1, uh, Porky's 1. Porky's 2, it's all right. It's not as funny as the first one. Porky's 3, it's pretty damn good. Porky's 3, Porky's Revenge was really good. Um, Revenge of the Nerds, Nerds 1 and 2, hilarious. Um, some movies that I wanted to talk about, but I didn't because I thought a lot of people would know about them was Christmas Vacation right there. Griswold Family Christmas, come on. Established 1989. Christmas Vacation. Can't go wrong. Ghostbusters. Another movie that I fucking love from the 80s. That's right. Like, there's so many good movies from the 80s. Like I said earlier, like, I could be talking for hours. Like, we had Pee-wee's Big Adventure in the 80s. We had um, License to Drive with Corey Feldman and Corey Hames. We had Who Framed Roger Rabbit. If you haven't heard of that movie, I'm sorry. You're just... That's all I gotta say. First time ever you had Mickey Mouse and Bugs Bunny in the same anything together uh back to the future another huge franchise from the 80s um another movie i liked from the 80s i really loved i'm not sure a lot of you have heard of was the wizard um it was all about nintendo games this kid was a phenomenon he was the for video games and what can you say it gave us the debut of super mario brothers 3 that's right i don't have raccoon mario on my arm princess toad and luigi for nothing Soon to be a whole sleeve, guys. Mario three, but that is my list of some uh, comedy movies that I like from the eight that I love from the eighties. Um, there's going to be more lists coming up. Like I said, no particular order, but check them out. Like um, 
even Monster Squad, like I'm telling you, hilarious. Kid kicks the wolf man in the balls. Can't go wrong. So, with that being said, you guys have a good one. Thank you for checking out the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, leave a comment. Don't be shy.